In this video, I'm going to show you how to update widget styles and create new widget styles. This is handy to save you some time. So I'm going to give you an example. We're on our index page, our home page. I want to change my H1 headings to a sort of a dark steely blue. So I've got the widget selected. I go to the right to the inspector pane to our style tab, zoom in and I can change the colour here. Just a reminder, don't change typography yet. We do web fonts in a couple of weeks time. Um, if you change it now, you're just going to have to try and fix that again and there's more potential for problems to occur. So leave the fonts, let's just do the colour. So I open that up, let's drag that so we can see it and I'm going to change it to this colour. Okay, so we can see it's changed there. Now the problem is if I go to my beach page and I drag another heading across, it is black. And I would have to go through the same process to change the colour. If you have 200 pages on your website or you're using a widget that appears multiple times on each page, you can see that this would end up taking you quite a bit of time. So how can we speed things up? we can use styles. So I'm going to zoom in over on the right in our style tab and you see how we've got heading one with an asterisk. The asterisk means changes have happened to this widget that have not been saved in the style. So you can see we've got update here. If I click on update, the asterisk disappears. That is applied to the style heading one. So now if I go to the beach page, you see how that has already changed that colour. Any instance of the H1 heading on our website is going to now be that colour. And in fact, if I go to a new page and drag one over again, you can see it is already in that colour. So that saves you a lot of time. Now another thing you can do is create a new style. So let's say we don't want to change all of our H2 headings to a particular colour, we just want it on some of the pages or some of the H2 headings. So again I can change the colour by going into the style tab of the inspector pane. This time I'm going to change it to a dark teal. Okay, so that's changed that there. I'm not going to save it as heading 2 though. Instead, I'm going to choose Create, which is underneath it. And it already prompts me to give it a name, so Dark Teal I'm going to call it. And you can see what it is overriding here. It's overriding the font size to 24, the font colour, um, and all of these details. Okay, so for that reason, even if I deselect the font size there and click OK, um, you can see that has now gone to the default size of the font, which I think is 13 pixels. So that's quite small. So you don't want to go and unselect anything like that. We'll keep that there. So that is fine. Okay, now if you need to edit these at any stage, you can go to the right over here and click on manage style, uh, manage, manage style widgets and you can edit this here. So you can choose a different font colour, anything like that. Another way you can access that um, manage style widgets is going up to the top project, widget style manager. And again, you've got access to that so you can change that. You can also add a new style here. So I might just call that one teal. Now, in theory, I would be able to change that to a different colour like that. The problem being, you see how the font size is 13. So even if I click on the beach here and apply that style, so over here, you see how we've got heading three. If I mouse over that, you can see the little downward facing chevron indicating there's a drop down menu. I click on that. I can add teal, but see how it's changing it to 13 point. So you really are kind of stuck with choosing the, the font size and things like that. I'll choose the heading three again, um, which is quite unfortunate that you can't make a style and then just apply teal to anything you choose. You do have to change it for the different font sizes. So I've got this applied to my heading two. 
Um, if I scroll down, see how it doesn't change that one? I need to actually manually change that to dark teal to change those. And that is how you can use the widget styles. Um, and you'll see that with the widget style manager, um, it's also got form hints. It has a lot of different options open to you if you want to add that uh, to different widgets. Thank you.